Hi, Theater Mania. This is Lindsay Mendez, and we are talking about Significant Other on Broadway. You know, the idea is to take this kind of gay sidekick character who you see in movies. He, like, comes on and says one, like, funny quip, and then he leaves, and to actually put him in the center of the frame and to see what happens when you follow him and you make the story of his story. You'd think it's not going to be about him. Um, he's kind of quietly off to the side. He makes a few comments here and there. And as kind of the, the play unfolds, you realize that it's his journey. He is the other, like the title, Significant Other. His best friends start to marry off, and he doesn't have a companion. And it's about him dealing with that and his quest for that and how he can maintain his relationships despite them changing and him feeling like he's not changing. And we just kind of watched Jordan navigating losing his friends to other people and, and feeling, you know, the panic of, of being left alone. Josh does a wonderful job of reflecting that, but with his biting sense of humor. You know, the fact that we're able to laugh at that loneliness is a, a key to why the play is so successful. It's kind of a wild thing. What's great about this play is like it's so funny and so fun and it's a party and then it punches you in the gut. And I think it resonates because it doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight or black or white or whatever. We all experience loss. But I think what the playwright is saying is that in spite of loss, you have to go on. And that's Bobby and Zadie at their 50th, at their golden winning anniversary, their 50th. 50 years, wow. Yeah. And uh, there's... There they are at their 60th. 60, Jesus. Well, we had a great run a year and a half ago. And it was a surprise because the public just loved it. People of all ages. I'm excited to bring to Broadway because I, I'm, I'm just excited for more people to be able to experience uh, the sort of poignancy and humor and universal message about like the search for love in the big bad city that this play conveys. I hope they walk away thinking it's the best play they ever saw and that they laugh their ass off. Because the play, let's also not forget, is funny. It touches the heart really, you know, but you can only, you can only cry as hard as you have laughed and Josh does a hell of a job balancing out both sides of that.